Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Rickman, and welcome to my first commentary video. So, I am a teacher, and I follow social medias and all that, and I keep seeing so much stress about going back to school. Um, now, I've seen students, teachers, parents, and, you know, admin all concerned and everything, um, but today, actually, what I want to focus on and speak to is just one of those groups, the students. So, uh, hi students, whether you're past or present students, hello. Um, welcome. Yes, I have a YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so let's talk about this whole going back to school thing, right? Um, it's a messy argument. On the one hand, school helps students socially, right? So that you actually get to interact with people who are different from you or similar to you, and you get to learn and grow with and from them, right? It's a good thing. Right? Um, that's something that really can't be easily replicated in an online setting. On the other hand, however, um, we kind of have a global pandemic happening, right? And with more than 153,000 deaths in the United States alone, it's a big deal, right? So with those things in consideration, a question starts to form, right? Should I be worried about returning to school? And the answer is... Yeah, you should. <laughs> you, you should. Um, right Now, for this commentary, I'm not going to try to advocate for one side or the other. I'm not going to try to say, well, we should go back to in-person or we should do entirely remote. I'm, I'm going to try to avoid that. I'm going to try to talk from both sides of the argument here. Um, and so, you know, basically instead what I want to talk about is what you can do to help yourself have the safest and best upcoming fall semester. So I'm going to talk about three things. Um, the first thing is take things seriously. Really, like I'm actually, I actually mean that, right? Um, especially if you're attending in-person classes, you've you've got to take all the right safety precautions, right? Make sure you're wearing a mask, wash your hands a lot, try to give yourself some distance from other people if you can. Um, this will not only keep you safe, but it's also to help keep others safe in case you get sick, right? Um, it's basically just about common decency and saying, hey, I care about other people too, and I want them to be okay. It's just sort of the nice thing to do. If you're online, don't blow things off just because it's not face-to-face -face classes, right? It can be really easy to kind of get distracted if you're on a computer, right? Oh, hey, there's a YouTube video. My teacher just made it. You know, like that sort of thing, right? Um, try not to get distracted, right? Schools are planning on kicking things off with the actual curriculum. You know, it may not be right away, but they're planning on, you know, districts want schools to go back to some semblance of normalcy. And so, you know, just plan on actually having to get to work. If things get confusing, ask questions, right? That's what your teachers are here for. We're here to support you. And so, you know, especially if you're in an online setting or even in, in person, frankly, ask questions. The second thing is show patience. I know, I know, you probably get that all the time from your parents or relatives or whatever, but... We do say that for a reason. Especially now, understand that as scared and as stressed as you guys might be, the adults in your lives are just as, if not more, scared and stressed, some of them. Um, you know, a lot of teachers who are unfamiliar with technology are now having to use it all the time, and a lot of us adults are actually concerned about the coronavirus too. You know, it's a big deal. Many of us are going to do our best to help you and feel comfortable and safe in our classes, and it will go a long way if you reflect some of that same patience and caring. The world is just... Honestly, the world is just too messy right now for people to be mean to each other, you know? Um, I mean, it's always been messy, and I've kind of always been a proponent of kindness and you know showing some decency, but especially now. We just have to give a little grace, show a little decency towards one another, uh, regardless of the mean things other people might be saying or doing. The last thing is, find some fun. Like, seriously. I know that it can be a little counterintuitive. It sounds a little counterintuitive to my first point uh, when I'm saying take things seriously, but you can actually have fun and work in the same setting. Uh, goodness knows I do, otherwise I definitely wouldn't be a teacher right now. <laughs> um, you know, you've just got to find ways to enjoy what going on around you because if you don't um well life's just gonna be really sad <laughs> you know like have video chats with friends uh find a way to make jokes or puns or you know i don't know suggest that your teacher does a weekly game with you guys or something like that try to have some fun within your class 
even if you're doing the online stuff. Find something fun and stick with it. Hold on to that. The next school year isn't going to be easy. It'll be messy. It's, it's going to be complicated. Good decisions will get made, but bad decisions will get made too. There's going to be mistakes. And people might get sick. People might die. And that is terrifying and awful. Unfortunately, that's also the reality of our situation right now. Um, I'm going to end off with a quote from Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm, I'm going to put a video of the scene in description as well. Um, it's a scene where uh, Frodo, a hobbit, is feeling especially helpless. They've basically just survived a disaster. You know, things seem really down. It seems like everything's about to go wrong for them. And he asks his friend Sam, what are we holding on to? Right. Like, what are what are we still doing? What are we? Why are we still going on? Why are we still trying? And Sam replies that there's still some good in this world, Mr. Frodo, and it's worth fighting for. So, kind of to end this off, uh, I'm going to charge you to find that good, be that good, and hold on to it. You know, we're going to need a lot of ha there, we're going to need a lot of good people uh, if things are going to end and successfully in any way if things are going to go well in any way we need to be that good we need to find that good and to hold on to it right to believe that there is still some good in this world and it's it's worth fighting for it's worth holding on to so yeah uh thank you for watching if you like the video please feel free to subscribe for more content in the future my hope is to do many more commentary videos like this in the future and while i do already have some plans for some future content if there's a topic or a question you want me to address, uh, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below, and I might just get to it in a later video. Have a wonderful day, stay safe out there, and as always, don't get arrested.